Hey everyone, it's Colin here at E-Trailer. Today we have a 2015 Volkswagen Passat. And we're going to be test fitting the Thule Wing Bar Evo roof rack system. This roof rack system mounts to the naked roof of your Passat. It's going to allow you to get your favorite accessories on your roof to be able to transport them, whether it's a bike rack, a kayak carrier, or even a cargo box. This roof rack system consists of a couple of different parts. Up top, we're going to have our 53 inch long wing bar crossbars. These are going to have an aerodynamic shape to them, which helps cut down on wind noise and drag when compared to your standard square or round bar roof rack system. They are in black right now, but they're also available in silver. So if that's something you're interested in, just see e-trailer. Now we also have a rubber strip up top and kind of an upgrade from their old load bars is that instead of having to pull the strip out and cut it to length for whatever accessory you want to use, all you have to do is take that T-bolt and just slide it in between the two strips. Just get it to the position on your roof rack and then tighten it down and you're going to be good to go. Then you can shut your end cap. Now below our crossbars, we're going to have our Evo clamp feet and then our fit kit, which is specifically designed for the Passat. Now we'll start up here with the clamp feet. Take the end cap off, you can see what kind of goes on on the inside. We're going to have the bracket, which holds our rubber coated hook from our fit kit. We're going to have a bolt on the inside right there, which is how you tighten it down on your roof rack. Now with the fit kit, it was specifically designed for the Passat. So we have the rubber coated hook that fits perfectly in the door frame. And we're also going to have the thick rubber pad, which goes along with the contours of our Passat. You can see how it comes up and then dips down into that little crevice right there. Now the rubber pad and the rubber coated hook are going to make sure it doesn't harm or scratch the finish of your Passat. When we have that end cap back on, you can see we have a plastic lock right here. We can replace those with Thule lock cores and that'll just give more security for your roof rack. You can find those here at E-Trailer. Now let's go ahead and give you guys a few measurements. First, we're going to go from the top of our roof to the bottom of our wing bar. It's going to be two and a half inches. Now that's more than enough space to be able to get your clamp on accessories under the crossbar without risking damaging the roof of your vehicle. Now if we go from the top of our roof to the top of our wing bar, that's going to be four inches exactly. So you want to keep that in mind for any low clearance situations that you have added that height to your roof. Now with the Passat being a shorter vehicle, you shouldn't have to worry about that, but it is something to keep in mind. We're also going to have a 220 pound weight capacity for this wing bar setup, which is a good step up from their old load bar system, which was at 165 pounds. But you do want to be sure you double check with your Passat's owner's manual to make sure your roof can handle that weight. Now that we've gone over some of those features, let's show you guys how to get it installed. When assembling the crossbars, the front and the rear will assemble and install the exact same way. How we got the front one installed, we measured from the top of our windshield to the edge of our Evo foot, and that we did that the same on both sides to make sure it was even. We're gonna assemble the rear crossbar now and then get it installed for you guys. First one thing we'll do is flip it over. Now we're going to grab our Evo clamp foot and then the two pieces to our fit kit and put that together. The pad's going to go right on this bracket. You can kind of see how the shapes line up. So just make sure you press down on that. Really make sure it snaps on there. There we go. Now we'll get our hook installed as well. All we're gonna do is push that in till we hear a click right there. Now it's hooked on. You can just kind of give it a couple of tugs, make sure it's on there. Now we're going to take the end cap off of the end of our wing bar. Now what we're going to do to get this installed on the track, there's going to be two silver buttons on the inside. We're going to push down on those and that's going to unlock the latch right here so that we can put it into the track. So push down, we'll insert it into the track. What's cool is that as soon as we let go, it locks into place. Now we need to get the edge of our foot all the way up to our scale right here. We already have the scale set to the measurement that was specified in our instructions. So we'll just push it forward. As soon as we touch that tab, we're just going to let go. It'll lock itself in place. Now we'll just throw the end cap on and put it on our roof. Now with both rear doors open, we can set it in place on our roof. We don't have to get it exactly in the right place because we'll have to measure first. So I'm just going to pull on that side with the hook and set this side down. Now let's grab our measuring tape and we'll get our crossbar spread. 
Now, per our instructions, we're going to measure from the front of our back crossbar to the front of our front crossbar. And again, this measurement is in your instructions. You want to make sure you get it as close as possible. And again, make sure you get it on both sides. Now that we have that crossbar spread determined and our crossbar is in the correct spot, we're going to begin tightening it down. Now all we're going to do is start by tightening the bolt on the inside of our foot right there. We just want to get it to where the hook is going to be making contact with the frame of our door because we don't want to pull too much on one side. So we'll just go a couple of turns. You can see now the foot's kind of moving. We're going to stop right there and do the same thing on the other side. Now we did tighten up the other side and you can kind of see how the pad is being pulled off of the vehicle. That's okay. All you got to do to fix that is just begin tightening it down again. What you're going to do is you want to make your way back and forth, just doing a couple turns on each side until it's fully torqued. Now you heard that click. That lets us know that it is torched to the correct specifications. Now we'll go and repeat this on the other side. Now we can just shut our doors. We'll throw our end caps on. Now we're ready to load up our favorite Thule accessories and then hit the road. Thank you all for watching. That's going to do it for our test fit of the Thule Wing Bar Evo roof rack system on our 2015 Volkswagen Passat.